Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Jaden and welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back once again playing some more car extra racing and today we're going to be driving uh, this incredible freaking mod bro. This is a Mad Mike's RX-7 and this thing looks absolutely nuts man. You guys guessed already it is a mod and it looks a real damn good man. We threw on uh, the blue on the glow as well too which I honestly do like man. I feel like the blue on the glow goes with this car really damn well. Uh, the rear end it looks like it has some modded tail lights as well too and so obviously we have uh, the need for speed on the side from need for speed shift man. Let me know if you guys do play that game down below. But uh, anyways, let's uh, let's see this thing out, man. So moving on to mods, we do have a good amount of power, man. A thousand one hundred and seventy-eight brake horsepower, nine hundred and ninety-two newton meters of torque, and we rev way up to ten thousand RPMs, man. Absolutely insane. This thing's gonna be a banger to drive, man. As for tunes, we don't really have much of a tune, man. We kind of just lowered it down, you know, done the suspension a nice little bit, maxed out the steering angle as well. And uh, moving on to engine, we did do the tune up fully. We done uh, the max torque and the rev limiter as well too. That's kind of how we managed to get 10,000 RPMs, which is gonna be absolutely nuts. But uh, anyways, if you guys do enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're about that life, and uh, let's see this thing out and see how she handles. Okay, so I figured we kick things off on the toge to kind of just get a feel of this damn warp and holy shit bro, straight off the bat, this thing is handling really well, listen to that damn rotary rear bang man, this thing sounds so good, what? Bro, we've done an RX-7 in the past, but I do not remember it sounding this damn good, bro. Absolutely insane. And this kind of gives me that vibe of, I think it was Mad Mike. I'm pretty sure it was Mad Mike who done that nice little hill run. Almost like a toge, more of a mountain toge. And uh, bro, it was absolutely nuts. That thing was popping off on TikTok a while back. But bro, this... This RX-7 is a real damn nice man, I'm a huge fan of those tail lights, holy shit, we just tapped that wall out real damn hard. And also that big ass wing, bro, what is going on with the wall taps, holy shit. Bro, but honestly speaking, the blue on the glow just brings everything together, I feel like, it, I feel like it looks pretty good man, even though the blue kind of has no business freaking being on this car, it looks pretty good and it kind of goes with the rear tail lights man, we kind of have like a blue LED strip on top of the tails which looks pretty sick and man bro this is just a really well put together mod, I would like to show you guys the interior but it, it's kind of broken man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is broken as shit, but then again man, who runs car X in interior mode man, I'm curious to see how many of you guys actually play this game in interior mode, there was a certain point of time when I tried to do it but uh, I figured third person is always gonna kind of be home to me when it comes to Kai man, especially being on a controller. But god damn, bro, this thing is a pretty agile kind of at least, bro. I do not remember it handling this well. It could be kind of like a placebo effect just because it looks so damn good. But uh, oh my god, dude, it looks real damn good, bro. This is gonna make for one sick thumbnail. Oh, look where you're going, man. But. Uh, Bro, this thing is just so freaking insane. You can kind of see those damn air filters sticking out of the front end as well, which is... It's pretty cool, man. Pretty sick. And also, the damn rotary sound raving all the way up till 10,000 RPMs, man. You can just hear this thing rev banging down this damn hill climb. And honestly speaking, man, this is just probably one of the best mods we've tried out on this game man looks wise handling wise it's so good and it also doesn't look bad either man holy shit i know i'm kind of fanboying about the looks but you know man max rx7 is a really good looking car man and seeing it as a mod in kx is just it it's so sick bro their wing as well too which just kind of brings the whole car together man you know it, the body kit itself is more of a clean style body kit but then you kind of have the vents on the hood with the freaking air filter sticking out, you have the big ass wing on the back. It, it's a good looking car man, it definitely is a good amount of simpleness with a real good amount of aggressiveness bro. So I'm really happy with that and uh, god 
Damn bro, look at that. One thing I do not miss however about car X is the fact that obviously when you come out of a race you do have to reinstall the body kit each and every single time man which uh, it's not fun to say the least bro I'm clicking the wrong damn buttons but anyways if you guys do want to find out where your mods are just head over to body kits and it should be kind of like a white car on the side and that will give you your damn body kit man but real quick while we are still in here kind of want to do some tires I feel like they would look real sick we have the speed hunters looking tires and I honestly cannot really read these man I think these are Toyo tires or Yamaha's bro I think these are the Toyos okay that looks sick uh as for paint jobs it seems like we have a different oh okay so this is this is if you don't want the actual wrap if you just want a nice little body kit obviously the Nito Nito however the hell you pronounce it stays on the rear wing as well too as the banner but uh, I can see a lot of people making some good looking damn wraps for this car man but obviously it's my Mike's RX-7 we are gonna keep the damn wrap on as well too but uh, anyways I think that's all that we need to do for now man let's hop straight into the second roof track off today okay so for the second run off today we are running some springstone and we did enable the damn rain mod as well too and bro uh, let me just say the damn underglow with the reflections when it is raining on this game looks so damn sick holy shit we are carrying a lot of damn angle through that damn corner right there and holy crap bro why does this car feel so much more loose on this track i swear to god we did not do any tune whatsoever i don't know man it, feel, it feels weirdly satisfying though it kind of feels like it's on rails almost like need for speed but oh yep okay okay we're just gonna pretend like nothing ever happened right there uh i did not spin a car out in kayaks which is one of the hardest games to actually spin a damn car out holy shit man okay what a way to kick off the damn track bro but honestly speaking man this this thing does feel a lot different on springstone compared to kami road bro for some reason it feels a lot loose but still agile in a sense man and i do know for a fact that the rain does not actually change the handling of the damn cars in this game i kind of you know that an experiment turn it on and off and it felt pretty similar man so I don't know, let me know down below, we have been having a lot of damn updates for the Kino mod, so maybe it did change the physics man, maybe it did, but I highly doubt it bro, I definitely do, but holy shit dude, one thing their racing games they have to implement more, I know it's kinda unrealistic, but having the smoke in the rain is just so damn sick to watch man, holy crap bro, this is definitely one of the better balls on the channel, and uh, I feel like the replay is just kind of do such a good justice with these good looking mods man but anyways across the damn line oh god damn bro that rx7 is really good bro it's really damn good major angle coming into their first damn corner and then just kind of sailing it by holy shit we got real close to that damn bridge right there and uh, honestly speaking bro this this mod just looks so good especially having the whole Kino mod as well to enable bro we just fully sent those damn corners got major amounts of angles I do believe there was a damn reverse entry right there which is pretty cool damn bro definitely a freaking 10 out of 10 on the looks department of this damn mod man real happy with the way this thing came out and yep right there we just spun out man okay but anyways I think that is going to do it for today guys the damn RX-7 man Mike's RX-7 as a mod uh, it looked pretty good, definitely not gonna lie, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 on the looks department. Handling it handled like a normal RX-7 would in Car Expo, so I was really happy with that as well too. Uh, I do believe this is a newer mod as well, so if you guys do want to check it out, it should be on the storefront of the workshop on Steam for Car Extra Racing Man. But anyways, with all of that being said guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're about that life, and uh, I'll see you guys back here on... Wednesday with a brand new video on channel. I'm out. Peace.